what's up beautiful people today we're going to be checking out another video by charlie kirk and this one is student says trump is immoral dot 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 gets destroyed by charlie kirk okay it says destroyed so let's see my question is whether or not you agree with trump's policies it's undeniable that at best he's the most morally corrupt president in modern history well, my question is how do you reconcile your support for him with his character easily <laughs> let's start with one core way to judge a politician on morals doing what you said you're gonna do <laughs> would you agree that's probably an important thing to judge someone on and that's honesty isn't it doing what you say you're gonna do right yeah, absolutely okay so he moved the embassy to Jerusalem, he canceled the Iran deal, he deregulated the American economy, he cut taxes, he went by his list to put strong justices on the Supreme Court, such as Kavanaugh and Gorsuch. He has protected the religious liberty of all Americans. He has put over 100 circuit court judges in every single district across the country. At every single turn, he's done everything in his power to do what he said he's going to do. I'm really worried... Did he build a wall? He said he was going to do that. I'm really worried that too many people are virtue signaling in a very strange way as we're all very flawed beings there's an old christian expression which is let the first among you without sin throw the first stone and those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones and where i judge morality is are you going to turn your back on the constituents that voted for you that voted for the first time in 30 years like every other president has in the last 40 years 30 years since reagan or are you actually going to fulfill these promises? To me, that's the most moral president that I've ever lived through in my lifetime. Wow. That's a, should I say a big, not, not a big claim, but it's a big thing to say about somebody, you know? And I feel like the, the, the young man, I would like to see why he thinks Donald Trump is immoral. Because they both agree in, the, in terms of honesty. They agree that honesty is basically doing what you said. So now I would like to see him say Trump said he was going to do this and he didn't do it. You know, that would have been a very good argument to see. But anyways, the, the response that came from Charlie Kirk was very, very, very precise. You know, it's like he didn't have to think about that. He knows it. He's so convinced by that. That would mean he really believes in Donald Trump. You know, I don't think you just say that about somebody who you're not sure of. And the information he mentioned, the facts, or I'm not sure if it's facts because I haven't checked it. But if they are facts, I'm sure it'll be readily available for anybody to check. So he won't just come on the media and make those claims if they were false. But let me know what you think about that video. That was a very interesting short video. Yeah, I like when people respond like that, um, like Charlie Kirk did with certainty, with, um, with assurance, like, go check this out. This is what I'm saying. This is what Trump said he was going to do. And Trump has done this. And he even went forward to say he's the most morally, um, the most moral president since 30 years ago, I believe. I think Reagan here, he mentioned. Well, it was a good one. Let me know your thoughts. Share it in the comment section. It's the end of this video. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace. I'm gonna hate this bed on my own. Bed on my own.